Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're looking at three zone thinking and editing where we just consider the darks, the midtones, and the lights. And uh, now we're going to look at using the tool of selective color. And selective color selects via one of these first and then lets you do a red, green, blue, or cyan, magenta, yellow, black edit on it. And for the, the the three zones, these are the ones we're mostly going to use. So if I use whites and then use the blacks here, you can see here what happens is on the light side here. If I go this way, it gets lighter. If I go that way, it gets darker. If I take off the relative, it's a, more, it's a stronger effect. So there you can whites turn to black. And here you get a yeah, fairly similar effect. If I turn the relative on there, not much difference there. But going to the blacks, it makes a difference. And similarly, if I go to the blacks, then get the same sort of effect at the other end. This time with blacks here, turn the relative on and off, not much difference. But again, going to the whites, look at the difference between there and there. Not a lot. So in other words, with blacks, there's not a lot of difference going on here. And with neutrals, and we can go up and down like this. If you go too far with neutrals, note what happens here. You get this sort of band here where it gets, you go to grey, then to white, but also to grey and then to white then again. So it starts getting a little bit confusing. So you're going to be careful with this just to making smaller changes. But this div gives you your mid-tones. So let's have a look at using it on a picture. And we go to the selective color. And if we look at the histogram on this, it's a fairly middling picture here. The histogram's right in the middle, lots of midtones, but not much in the way of blacks or lights. So if we go to the blacks first and say, what should we do with this? Well, if we want to make that darker, we're going to move this up. And you can see as you move this up, the histogram up here is shifting over to the left. In fact, you can, in this case, you can move it all the way. So before and after, you've added a lot more blacks into that and made it darker, giving you a lot better contrast. With the, if you take the relative off, not a lot of difference. It's worth trying that to see what happens. Whites going the other way. Now we don't go too far, perhaps, we just maybe a little bit more. Don't exaggerate. If you exaggerate whites too much, it gets too bright and it grabs attention or it just burns out. So a bit there as far as you like. And then with neutrals, which way we're going to go? We just try it both ways. We don't over lighten it. So maybe just a little bit darker within the neutrals, which pushes the histogram a little bit to the left up here. So then you've got before and after. So it makes quite a useful difference to this. Trickier one is one here where we've got a hole in the middle. We've got the darks down here of the land and the lights up here, mostly up in the sky. So now let's see what happens. So with selective colour, we'll go down to blacks and the darks here. And we don't want to make it darker, so let's make it lighter. But when you try making it lighter, look, it just doesn't do it very, it's not very nice, is it? What if we take off the relative? See what that does it. It's still not, not good, is it? You can try using these here. So what if we move those? And if you take them all to the same, you might get the same effect. But no, it's maybe just a little bit. No, it's not really helping at all, is it? What about whites? Then in the sky here, look, it starts to go funny. So in other words, the selective color works sometimes and it doesn't work other times. So if you want to adjust the darks and lights better with a picture that has got a good amount of midtones, but you can play around with the blacks and whites at the farther end. This is generally because there's so much weight given to the darks and lights within selective color and less more within the towards the middle. Anyway, that's it, and thank you very much for watching.